Hello everyone, welcome to the lead code challenge. In this video, I would like to discuss about the problem thrown inheritance. So this is this problem is part of a weekly challenge. So let's uh, check the descript problem description. A kingdom consists of a king, his children, his grandchildren, and so on. Every once in a while, someone in the family dies or a child is born. The kingdom has a well-defined order of inheritance that consists of the king as the first member. Let's define the recursive function successor uh, given x and current order, which given a person x and the inheritance order so far returns who should be the next person after x in the order of inheritance, uh, who is going to take the throne. So the function successor with the given inputs x and current order, it checks if x has any children or not, if he doesn't have any children or if all of x children are already in the order, then uh, it goes to check that if x is the king, if x is already a king, then it returns null. Else, it tries to find the successor of x parent with the given current order. So, if x has some children, then it goes to check x oldest child who is not in the current order. So, let me show you diagrammatically so that uh, it becomes more clear. In this description maybe it doesn't look uh, very clear. So, let's check one example. So let's say you have three inputs, say uh, first you start with the king, so king has a children Andy, Bob, Catherine, then Andy has a child Matthew, then you have Bob with two, two children Alex and Asha. So uh, when you want to form the order of the uh, throne in which they are going to take over, so uh, let's uh, see uh, how it goes. So first you have king in the first level, so he has three children Andy, Bob and Catherine which I represented in the next level. Then Andy has one child, Matthew. Then Bob has two, two children, Alex and Asha. Then Catherine doesn't have any children. So when you want to form the order of the throne, then first you start with the king. So in the right side, in the throne order, you have king starting as the first person. So uh, you can closely look at the uh, diagram that I have shown here. So to form the order. So then next, you have the first child of uh, King Andy, who is elder in all the three. Then you go to uh, children of Andy. So then you have Matthew, then there are no more children for Andy, so you go back, then you go to King, then you uh, take the next child of King, who is Bob, then you go to children of Bob, Alex, then you go to Asha, who is second child of Bob, then there are no more children, so you go back, you go back to King, then finally you come to Catherine, who is the last child of King. So this is the order, King, Andy, Matthew, Bob, Alex, Asha and Catherine. So, if you uh, closely look at this, uh, what we have done just now, this is nothing but uh, pre-order of a tree traversal. So, if you can represent the given data in a tree structure, you can just do a tree traversal of pre using pre-order and then return the answer. So, let's look at the code. So, I have I have taken a class tree so it has a string name name of the current uh, king then you have children uh, vector I have taken a vector to represent the children then you have a map uh, you have a map to check uh, given a uh, given a name uh, it tells you whether the king is, uh, whether the person is alive or not. So, map of uh, given name to uh, boolean. Then you have one more map. Uh, I will tell you why we have used this map. This map is like given a name, it gives you the node of the node in the tree for the particular person. This we have used because uh, to speed up our program. So, because when you want to insert a child into the tree, when you want to insert a node into the tree, if you uh, search for every member using the name, it takes a lot of time. So if you have a map, you can uh, directly get the node, a parent node, then you can insert the child. So this speeds up a lot. It will award you the time out. Then uh, I have a constructor tree. So it gives you a new node. So it stores the name as the name. Then you have a, a function add child. This takes care of adding a child to the given uh, parent. So child to the parent. So if you see this, I have uh, yeah, so instead of traversing the tree to find where is the parent, so I am directly taking from the node map. 
this is what we have used so node map and we are taking the node then we will set the child to the corresponding parent if the node is null so this will happen when uh, for the root node root node we are not inserting the node map so if node is null that means we have to take the root node then you get a new node for the child then you uh, do uh, node you add the uh, you insert this node to the node map because you can access easily then you insert this uh, child to the end of the list in the children list so push back to the children node children then order as we have said uh, this is nothing but a pre order of the tree tree so here tree means you can have uh, multiple children so more than two or more than one more than two so this is not a binary tree so it is a normal tree with uh, multiple children so uh, when you come for the pre order traversal so you have a current node and you have a order variable which you need to fill uh, using the nodes only nodes values yeah when the node is null you return if the node uh, yeah, so one thing we need to take care is if uh, any person is marked dead, then we should not consider him in the thrown order. So we just have to add a check that if the node name uh, in the map is false, that means he is not in the list and list of dead people, then you, you add it to your order. Then you first visited the node, so as a pre order, then you go for the ch child, children, list of children. So for every child in the uh, list, node children. You again and call the function recursively so this is a simple thing so you call with the node n then order so you keep updating the order in the recursive function then when they call uh, mark dead you can just add it to a list of uh, map so you make it true so that we will skip this adding to the order whenever it is true okay so they give a we need to implement uh, uh, these four functions so first one is a uh, constructor which they call at the beginning of a program then they call birth with the parent name and child name then they call death for any person to mark it as dead then finally they call get inheritance order so when they call this one you need to generate the order and then return the uh, result so uh, in the constructor you just make a new node with the king name he is the first so we are not adding this root to the uh, node map so that's why we have here uh, null, null check and node is null you take it as a root then when they call the function birth with the parent name and child name you add you call the function add child with parent name child name then when they call death you call mark dead and it will mark the current node as uh, not usable then in the get inheritance order you just call uh, order function with the root and the result this result we are going to fill recursively in the order function finally you return a result so let's execute and see how it goes Yes, it works fine. So let me submit and show you. Yeah, so a runtime of 7.8 milliseconds and it's faster than 100% of the C++ submissions. So memory uses on 198 approximately 198 MB because we are using maps and the tree structure. So that's it from my side. Thanks for watching. Please do like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. See you again.